Good morning, Peninsula High School. My name is Brianna Kirkhart. Our top stories today, adventure of a lifetime and girls golfing. All this and so much more coming up on Peninsula News. Turtles, flamingos, penguins, oh my. Join the Spanish department for an, an amazing adventure to the Galapagos Islands for spring break of 2025. We will be snorkeling, hiking volcanoes, taking part in service projects, and learning about the abundant wildlife of Ecuador. There will be an informational meeting on Monday, March 18th at 6 p.m. in room 622. You won't want to miss out. We are looking for Seahawk Girl Golfers. It is not too late to sign up, ladies. No exper experience needed, and we would love to have you join the team. If you are interested, please see the athletic director's office. We'll be sending it off now to Lila in the field with your upcoming weather. Hi, I'm Lila Klinger with this week's weather. Today, it is sunny with a high of 44 and a low of 33. Thursday will be sunny with a high of 49 and a low of 38. Friday will bring higher temperatures with a high of 40, 54 and a low of 42. Saturday will bring back the clouds and rain with a high of 48 and a low of 45. Sunday will bring showers with a high of 47 and a low of 48. That's it, it for this week's weather. Back to you, Brianna. Thank you, Lila. And now with this week's sports, here is PC. Thank you, Brianna. Good morning, Peninsula. My name is Colby Piquet with a PHS Sport Announcement. In the Boys Swim State Championship, Jonah Bergeson placed fourth in the 100-yard backstroke at the Boys 3A State Championships with a time of 51.31 seconds, breaking the school record by 0.9 seconds. We are very proud of his accomplishments this year, and we congratulate him on his great effort and achieving this spectacular goal. Now back to you, Brianna. Thank you, PC. For more information about the world we live in, here is Ava Miranda. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to What's Up World with Ava Miranda. In similar fashion to last week's story, yet another traveler was stopped at the airport due to sus some suspicious luggage. Buddy, a diligent member of the Logan Airport K-9 unit, sniffed out a passenger returning from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The passenger, now perceived as a threat, declared that all he had in his bag was dried fish. After further inspection, it turns out it was four dead monkeys. Dried and dehydrated, it can be assumed that this traveler was hoping to sell these nine pounds of mummified monkey meat as food, which is illegal in the United States. Often referred to as bush meat, minimally processed meat from the wild is illegal for sale and consumption due to its ability to carry diseases. Unfortunately for this hopeful passenger, that includes monkey mummies. Thanks to Buddy and the Logan Airport K-9 unit, monkey meat will stay off the menu. Let's hope we keep it that way. I'm Ava Miranda, and that's what's up with the world. Back to you, Brianna. Thank you, Ava. That wraps it up for this week's broadcast. My name is Brianna Kirkhart. I've been joined by PC, Olivia, Ava, and Lila. Behind the scenes, thanks to our broadcast director, Andrew Krivenko, Gwen Bean, Mr. Mick, student leaders, and school administration. And a big thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you here next week on Peninsula News. Hi, Seahawks. I'm starting a new club, POC, People of Color. Everyone is welcome. We're just making a place where everyone feels like they have a home and everyone is involved. Uh, it is next week in Mr. Miranda's room, the 12th, from 2.30 to 4. We have food, drinks, music, and we're going to be learning about a whole bunch of different things. And just make sure you come by, say hi. Thank you.